Alice and I are camping on a beautiful fall day in northern Michigan. It's mostly sunny with some wind, but at least we're not getting the rain like we've gotten the last couple times. That's been rough. This is a nice change. Yeah. Leaves falling underneath my clothes. We're gonna be out here for a couple nights trying out some new gear we got. I like this new hot tent. I think I set it up right. The awning part, I've never done that. It's weird because there's three holes or spots for poles to go in, but they only gave me two extra ones. I don't know. It works. I got a couple more pieces of gear I want to try out this weekend. And other than that, just do some exploring around here and just hanging out and enjoying this beautiful weather. Not bad. All right, so the hot tent, the wood stove, and the ultra lightweight cot all came from the brand King Camp. They were kind enough to send me all three items just in time for winter and have a upgrade compared to my last year's all polyester hot tent. This one is a cotton polyester hybrid. So it'll definitely hold the warmth a lot more and keep the snow off it better as well. I'm excited to try that out. And the stove is larger than my old one. It's got a ashtray as well, and it's got better features for cooking I'll show you later. And then uh, this ultra lightweight cot, which is really cool. It's basically like tent pole material, holding you together. It had to be really tight. I felt like everything was gonna break and whatnot, but it's just, it's gotta be that tight and hard to hold you up. So I'm excited to try all three of these out. All right, now I'm just gonna go get the rest of my gear and set everything up. Here goes nothing, breaking in the new wood stove. All right, I'm excited. I'm doing a meal I've never done before. Chicken and dumplings. Seemed like the perfect autumn camping meal. All right, now we're adding the chicken broth. Heavy cream. All right, the reason the chicken looks so weird and yellow like that is because I had some leftover pollo asada marinated chicken. I just rinsed it off, so I had that yellow look to it. All right, this is boiling. Let's add the rest of the ingredients. Peas and carrots, the shredded chicken, salt, pepper, All right, the biscuits are in. All I have to do is cover it, wait about 20 minutes and stir it every five and uh, it'll be ready. I'm really hungry. That looks amazing.
All right, well, we're both full and tired after dinner. It's staying really warm in here with that stove going. I'm really happy with this so far. I think it's awesome. And I imagine the cotton polyester hot tents holding a lot of the heat in as well. It's probably about 40 degrees outside and 70, 75 in here. I definitely don't need to be under the covers right now, but it's comfortable and Atlas is just fine. So we're gonna get to sleep and start an early day tomorrow. Good morning. I slept great last night. I never got cold. The fire did go out pretty much right after I went to bed. I didn't try to keep it going. But the sleeping bag did just fine. The blanket on top, Atlas in between my legs. Worked out great. Now I'm gonna get coffee going before we uh, get outside and start the day. It may look warm out here, but it is brisk. You might be asking yourself, if he said it's so cold out there, then why is he wearing such a lightweight jacket? Well, it is a lightweight jacket, but it is one of those heated jackets. This company iHood sent this to me recently, and I've been trying it out for a couple weeks, and it's been really nice. It comes with its own battery bank, which it holds right here. And the length of the battery depends on how many sections of the jacket you have turned on. So it has a section in the front, the back, and the collar. And then you can heat them all three independently or together. And they each have different temperature gauges. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a game changer when I don't want a big puffy jacket or a big parka on. So this is going to be nice this winter. late breakfast we'll call it brunch i'm making a sweet potato and chorizo hash kind of thing with eggs obviously this is the first as well but it sounds good in fall weather camping like this All right, first bite, here we go. That's awesome. A hint of syrup and cinnamon in there. That's delicious. Sweet potato chorizo hash. That's a new staple.
the days are so short this time of year that you don't know what to do with yourself once it gets dark out. And it gets dark out quick. So I guess you do the only thing you can do, which is make dinner. So I'm gonna make a quick easy one tonight and try and relax early. Tortilla on here, eat that up. Cheese. That looks really good. An easy but always good go-to. This thing is kicking right now. It's probably about 75, 80 degrees in here right now. Well, it depends. It's probably about 75 here. Up here, it's gotta be about 95. It's a lot. This thing's working really hard. It's only about 40 outside though, so it's not too cold, but still, this thing works great. Dinner was so easy and quick tonight that it gave me some time before bed to hang out and read some of my book. Well, good morning. I slept great last night. A lot better last night than the night before. I think always the second night and after the first night, really, camping, you sleep a lot better because you realize like the kind of sleep setup you have and how you want to be in it and everything. And it's always a lot harder with a dog. Alice is laying right in between my legs the whole night. So if I want to turn over anything, I have to move her to do it. it makes it a little more difficult. But we're up now. I'm going to get some coffee going and then slowly pack up and see how I feel. This is annoying. I've been walking around these woods for like 15 minutes looking for firewood and I can't find anything. I know this place in the summertime is really busy. I've tried to book it before, but it's always reserved like five months in advance. And anywhere from like May to October, don't even count on getting a spot here. No wonder there's no wood anywhere. All right, well, I'm just going to drink my coffee and then go back to camp, pack up, and we're gonna head out. But I had a good time trying some new gear out on this trip. It was nice. And it was finally nice to have the weather cooperate with us for once. So anyways, thanks for watching. We had a good time, hopefully you did too. We'll see you on the next Atlas Adventure.